they plagiarized her doctoral research and gave the credit to her male advisor. Professor Carmen Silva was about to teach them a lesson in academic integrity they'd never forget. Carmen had spent four years developing groundbreaking research on sustainable agriculture, work that could revolutionize farming practices worldwide. Her doctoral advisor, Professor Martinez, had always been supportive. NOL, or so she thought. The betrayal was breathtaking in its audacity. Martinez published Carmen's research under his own name at a major conference, claiming she had been a helpful research assistant. When Carmen confronted him, he smiled coldly and said, Welcome to academia, sweetheart. You should have read the fine print in your research agreement. But Carmen had done more than read the fine print. She had documented everything. Every email, every draft, every version of the research showed her original thinking and development. Martinez had made one crucial error. He didn't understand the digital forensics of academic work. While Martinez basked in his stolen glory, Carmen was building her case with surgical precision. She contacted the journal editors, the conference organizers, and most importantly, the university's research integrity office. Her documentation was so thorough, so comprehensive, that the investigation took only six weeks. The scandal exploded across academic circles. Martinez's plagiarism wasn't just career-ending, it invalidated five years of his previous publications when investigators found a pattern of stealing student work. The university terminated him, revoked his tenure, and publicly apologized to Carmen. But Carmen's revenge was just beginning. She was offered Martinez's position, his research funding, and his laboratory. Three major universities tried to recruit her. She chose Harvard, where she now heads the Sustainable Agriculture Institute, MZA, the very program that was built around her stolen research. Martinez? He lost his academic credentials, his reputation, and his retirement fund in the lawsuits that followed. He now teaches community college part-time, while Carmen's work is changing the world. Carmen learned that in academia, the truth always has a paper trail, age day, and she had kept every receipt. Want more stories of brilliant women who turned theft into triumph? Our Academic Revenge series continues, NEDA. Click the link to hear how these professors fought back.